Hey guys, Private Jack here. Welcome to part one of the series on how to take a Valve model, decompile it, edit it up a little bit, and get it back into Source Filmmaker as its own model. What we're going to do is we're going to use a static model in this particular case, and eventually what I might do another series on how to take a static model, make it into an actual usable model that uh, somebody can drive around in. Anyway, uh, this being uh, the first in the series, what we're going to do is we're going to cover the tools that we're going to use and where to get them. I'm not going to show you how to install them. There's lots of info with the tools, how to install them, whatnot else. Get them onto your computer. Everybody has their computer set up different, so basically I'm not even going to go there. I'm just going to show you where to get the tools and the tools that we're going to use. So, let's get started here. First thing you're going to need is Blender or if you use Maya go for it. I mean use Maya all you want. Me I prefer Blender and that's the tool that I'm going to use through this entire series. Okay you can get Blender now on Steam. All you have to do is go to the store click on uh, look up Blender and click the install button. Free right there. It'll install for you and everything's good to go. Okay, next tool, Blender Source Tools. This is a plug-in for Blender. Uh, when I first did a video on uh, the new Steam version, I thought that it actually came down with the Blender version, but it doesn't. So you're going to have to go off and go to steamreview.org, Blender Source Tools, and download the latest version uh, 2.52 and above I believe only work with uh, Blender 2.74 or later and the version of Blender that you get from Valve is 2.75 and it just went into an A series uh, a day or two ago so basically this tool will work with the Steam version of Blender the next tool that we're going to look at is Crowbar. Crowbar is a new compiler. Well, it's not really that new. It's already into version 0.24. Uh, Zach McCaw has done an excellent job on this particular uh, tool. It will actually decompile uh, the HWM type models. It's not quite there yet, but it's getting close. And from what I can see here, he's put out a new release here on the 3rd of July. It looks like he's getting ready to put out a new version of this thing. wonder what that's going to do. But this is not only a decompiling tool, it's also a compiler. And it's very easy to set up. Okay, next item up for bids is GCFscape. Back when I did the original video... Uh, Valve was still using GCF files for their game cache file format. Uh, when Pipeline rolled out, what they did is they changed the format and called it VPK. And these VPKs, the old versions of GCFscape, let's put it this way, the old versions of G GCFscape prior to version 1.8.4 could not open VPK files and extract the the new de uh, the uh, new format. So uh, Nems Tools here, the guys that wrote uh, the program, said we can fix that. They put out version 1.8.5, and this tool will now extract game cache files from the new uh, pipeline VPK files program that I forgot to mention in the intro was Notepad++. I use Notepad++ because it's a programmer's tool. I, it gives me line numbers, it gives me uh, pure text editing, and it's what I needed for doing the job. If I use the regular Microsoft Notepad, uh, I run the risk of not, uh, not saving it to the proper format. Uh, yeah, it's text, but it's not. It's rich text, and some of the um, some of the uh, uh, configuration files that we're creating just don't handle RTF files. 
Next tool that we're going to use is GIMP. And what GIMP is, is an image editor. And what you do with this is you create your textures or edit your textures for the actual um, model that you're working with. GIMP also has a VTF plugin, okay, which allows you to actually manipulate and save VTF files straight from GIMP. So that's another tool that you're going to require. Last, uh, last thing that I'm going to cover right now is uh, VTF Edit. VTF Edit version 1.33, from, from what I have heard, might be a little bit buggy, but I haven't had any problems with it for what I do in uh, my models for Source Filmmaker. However, if you do find that it is buggy, you can always roll back and go back to version 1.3.1. And that version, it supposedly works quite well as well. A couple of little notes. Uh, there is an installer for Windows. And if you're using uh, Windows 8 or above, uh, there's certain little uh, things that you have to do in order to uh, make it work. So read through the file. It'll tell you how to do it. And basically, yeah, that's it. So those are the tools that you're going to require for this process. Oh, of course, you're going to require SFM if you're going to, like, make movies. But anyway, those are the files that we're going to, or the, uh, the programs that we're going to be covering in this particular uh, series. And like I say, uh, I'm not going to show you how to install them because that only takes a heck of a lot of time and a lot of people already have this stuff on their computers. So uh, I'll leave a note in the uh, description on where you can go and pick these things up. So with that, next thing we're going to look at is GCF Scape, and we're going to use it to extract uh, a game file. And then uh, from there, we're going to carry on. So that's it for this particular uh, part of the series. And Say, Private Jack, out.